Hey everybody, welcome to Chef Dog. Today on Chef Dog, we're gonna do something different. We're actually gonna talk about the Cuisinart Air Fryer Toaster Oven. I don't generally do on food, but I uh, have fallen in love with these air fryers. I had never heard of an air fryer before until, I don't know, a month ago when I was walking through Costco and I'm like, hey, what is that? An air fryer? No clue. Because um, generally, you know, when you make stuff, you make it in a, uh, a pan and you put oil in it, right? And you fry it up. Get oil shooting all over, overcooked most of the time. Um, but I love the crispy stuff. So, we bought this and I have been using it religiously now on all sorts of things. So today, I wanted to show you something. We, were, we, went, to a, our, we went to one of our favorite restaurants. This is a Slap Tank in Lehigh, Utah. Um, but we have leftover fish, see? Leftover codfish. So generally, right, you're either gonna microwave it or you're gonna fry it or you're gonna put it in the oven. Um, I'm never gonna microwave it because it's gonna get all soggy and stuff. Um, I would always put it in the oven, but that takes, you know, what, 15 or so minutes to heat up and to do its thing. I'm gonna show you how quick the air fryer does this. Um, so here, come over here. So here's the air fryer. Um, I set it at the air fry. Uh, you set it at whatever temp you want. I'm going to put it at 350 because I don't want it to cook so fast that the outside um, uh, gets like burnt. I want it to make sure it's cooking the inside as well. And then it comes like this. Just have a tray in there. I put some tin foil just so it doesn't get dirty. But it's just that simple. And then the time you set it for. Now it does other things. It will broil. It will toast toast. Um, but it, and it will also bake. But we've been using it on the air fryer. So I just turn it to air fry and then set your temperature and then the time. So here we go. I'm gonna take and put, you can put these in there. Again, remember this is fish, so I don't wanna have soggy fish as a leftover. I want it to taste just like it did when we got it out. You know, put it in there, right? Again, set it at 350 and I'm gonna turn it on for just under 10 minutes. I'm gonna say like eight minutes. And, it, and then what I do, like if you could come in here and see it, I'll sit and watch it as it's cooking, and as soon as it starts bubbling, that's when I know it's about done. You'll start to see it because it starts to sizzle. But it's, it cooks it crisp, just like if you were to put it in, like I said, oil um, minus the oil. You know, I'd, I'd never even heard of it. It has a little light here that comes on or off. I, I just keep it on. You can hear it, can you hear it? And it's blowing. Um, blowing air. That's all it does. It really, 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 really hot air. Like a convection oven, I guess, right? Okay, so come on over here. It's been in there for about three minutes. Just a little over three minutes, and you can see already that they're starting to, starting to sizzle and bubble a little bit. I don't know if you can see that or not. That means it's actually probably almost done. So in three minutes, it went from soggy leftover uh, fish to crisp, baking hot, hopefully delicious, uh, ready to eat. So three, four minutes roughly. And uh, well, while we were while I was cooking that, I was reading it, uh, on the side here it says it gets up to it does like 1,800 watts of airflow. So. Um, I guess that's a lot. You can set the temperature to uh, 450 degrees. Okay, we're gonna try this now. Let's come back over here. Come here. We're gonna we're gonna pull this out here in just a sec. I think it's I think it's actually probably done. So we've been it's been in there now. This will be close to, to five minutes, and it immediately starts to heat up. Okay, come here. Can you hear that sizzle? Hear that? Oh yeah. That was good. Oh, hello. Oh, hello. All right, there you go. Ah. Just like I like it. No. Yeah. Oh, I love that. <laughs> Got some oil here at the bottom, but yeah, that is nice and, and crisp. So, so um, five minutes. There you go. All done with air. So awesome. Okay, well, that's all I wanted to show. I'm, I don't need to sample the food for you. It's delicious. It's strap tank there. We had really good, but... I highly recommend one of these bad boys, but five minutes and that's what it did. And it is super crisp to the touch. 
That'll be delicious. Much better than microwaving, don't you think? Okay, well, thanks for watching Chef Dog on real quick. Uh, this is at Costco for 159 bucks right now. That's what I got it for. This was about a week ago. So you can get these at Costco, $159. Okay, have a good one. Thanks for watching Chef Dog. Bye-bye.